following the fatal shooting at the Red Roof Inn on Youngerman Circle in Argyle, we're looking at safety in that area. Just this past week, we brought you a story about how panhandling has spiked in that area, and we've seen other shootings nearby as well. The latest police activity on Youngerman Circle involves a fatal shooting at this Red Roof Inn. And this isn't the only violence we've seen recently at a Youngerman Circle hotel just north of the Clay Duval County line. In April, officers were called to a domestic incident and fired on a suspect, killing him. That same month, we covered a major drug dealing operation that JSO took down in what was known as Operation Early Checkout. At the time, JSO told us, much of the activity focused on Blanding Boulevard and Youngerman Circle. Then this past week, I was out in the area after numerous commuters complained of a spike in panhandling. I interviewed this man who says he does it along with numerous other homeless people who live in the woods. No, they, Where uh, do you live at out here? I actually live... Um, Right over here behind the uh, Shell gas station. Uh, in the woods? Or in yeah, a... yeah. Yeah, basically me and my friend, we built a treehouse out here. So Really? Yes, sir. Are there a lot of people who live in these woods? Or Yeah, there's quite a few. Looking at JSO's crime mapping tool and the half mile surrounding the Red Roof Inn for the past six months, we found 169 calls for service. Sorry. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson pointed to the big drug bust from April with arrest from the west side to this area around Youngerman Circle. It's an indicator that they uh, have been made aware of what's going in there, going on in there, and they're trying to make a dent in it. You know, when you got uh, uh, over 60 people arrested at one time, that tells you right there that there's a serious problem going on there. One issue with the panhandling is hamstringing JSO. Look at this statement they sent me this past week over panhandling. The agency says recent changes in state and local statutes don't allow them to cite panhandlers unless they block traffic.